and see this young lady right here. You see her? She's got a special gift for you. You know, back many, many years ago, as a young man, I, I started my hunt career and always liked to hunt. And my daddy had a job. He had to work out of home. And so he was gone for two weeks at a time, come in and stay for a couple of days, then he was gone again. But, you know, as he went to work, he told those guys that he worked with, the people there, that he had a son back home that just loved hunting. And I know he told them because... They would send me magazines. They sent me the neatest knife you ever did see one time. They even sent me a couple of dogs. One big old dog and one of an old long-eared black and tan dog. So I know he talked about me. And I know that, that he loved me very much. And, you know, as I read these magazine articles that these guys that send me, I got to dreaming about these wonderful places that I could read in, in, in those books. And I decided that I made a goal for my life. I said, you know, one day I will see some of those places that I can read about. They got to be awesome. So as I got older, one day I was able to make my first trip. And I can remember the first time that I seen one of those states that I read about all those years ago. Listen, folks, you can read about it all you want to, but it's nothing like being there in person. It's awesome. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever thought about what the fruit on the tree of life looks like? Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought about what the tree looks like? Have you ever thought about that river coming out of that temple, that great city looks like? Have you ever thought about heaven and all what it looks like, what it's going to be like? The mansions. There's not going to be no sadness. Nothing there is going to be the best place that there ever is. You can read about it all you want to. But I have a feeling it's nothing going to be compared to being there in person. But here's the trick. Unless you set a goal in your life to be there, and unless you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, all you're going to get is at the gate. And that's as far as you're going to get. You're not going to be able to go in there and pull that fruit off that tree. You're not going to be able to go in there and put your hand in that water. You're not going to be able to put your arms about a loved one that's went on before you. You're not going to get that unless you set that goal out and unless you accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. I don't care what anybody tells you. That's the only way that you're going to make it. My prayer today, as it always is, if there's one here that does not know Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, today is your opportunity to make sure that you're not only going to read about that place, but you're going to be there in person and feel the awesomeness that it's going to be. So remember, when Brother Ronnie stands up here and it's time for you to step out, step out because you'll never regret the decision that you'll make today.